Welcome to the podcast, Sandra. No, oh, thank. Uh, we've known each other for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and you're a good friend of my wife. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I want to have you because I think you have an interesting path. Definitely. And I've been kind of using this as an opportunity to get to know my friends a little bit better, mm -hmm. and it's been kind of cool. Just Good. doing that, yeah. and just to get get to know people a little bit more, and just have an hour, an hour and a half, or whatever, just to talk. Mm -hmm. And are you? Did you? Are you born and raised in Reykjavik, or? Ah, uh, uh, well, yes, um, definitely. Um, uh, I was born in, in Reykjavik, and um, and then we moved to Germany. Okay. Um, I moved with my parents, but um, and my brother, but I don't remember it. So okay. maybe it doesn't count. But <laughs> still, yeah, mm, yeah. Came small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you lived Been there for around. a couple of years, <laughs> yeah. and and then back to Iceland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And what 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 sparked my interest, at least, it is. You kind of made a decision to invest in yourself at a point mm -hmm. when I knew you, and mm -hmm. when you got into that yoga thing. Mm -hmm. That yoga thing. Yeah, which I, <laughs> I found weird at the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite understand, mm -hmm. but I, I totally get the value in it now mm -hmm. and see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I'm trying to do the same thing with my life, kind mm -hmm. of just invest in myself. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about that. You. You were a single mom mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I was just at a crossroad, mm -hmm. uh, and um, and I felt like I needed to do something with my life. Uh, I felt I was going places, but at the time I I felt stuck, and uh, I had been going to classes, and I and I met this amazing woman, uh, which I kind of just had a girl crush on and like everybody has a girl crush on her she's <laughs> amazing and she's a yoga teacher and and she's the owner of the the studio that i teach in now mm -hmm. and uh, and i saw her and i started going to all of her classes and just religiously and and um, and i knew that i wanted wanted to be something like her i i i loved yoga and and i uh, saw that that you could be a uh, yoga teacher but still be cool which was definitely because at that time I definitely was not a flowery girl um, there was a lot of roughness and I did not um, enjoy the like breathing out of your ass and, and like uh, feeling the rainbow and blah blah <laughs> blah which other pe other teachers were telling but but I saw something in her and I wanted the same so she kind of just took my hand, and she's been holding my hands ever uh, my hand ever since. Um, I, I went um, to the same school that that um, she went to in Koh Samui in Thailand, mm -hmm. and that was absolutely the best thing I've ever done for myself. I yeah. It's probably hard. Yeah, I'm, being well, a single mom and yeah, going on an expensive yeah, trip. Definitely, but I was willing to do everything I could. Um, I was willing to sell my car. Okay. I uh, I spent every last dime <laughs> I had, everything, um, and I went there, and and um, it was super super intense. Uh, I met beautiful people that I'm still in contact with, and it kind of just changed my life, my perspective, and and yeah. What was, what were you doing before that? As Work-wise and money-wise, uh, and well, um, I've been working um, as a florist for about fourteen years, and I'm still working as a florist too. I own my own um, flower store now, mm -hmm. and then I was working with a previous owner, and at that time, and I had good support from her, and and I could go, and it okay. was the busiest time of the year, but I I was going. I didn't give a shit. I was just going. Yeah, that's that's something that I kind of. That fascinates me because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are 
pe people, Roberto, <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> are stuck in that kind of a rut. Mm. They have mm -hmm. their job yeah. and money is kind of mm. exactly mm -hmm. enough so mm -hmm. you can go by yeah, yeah, and yeah. live somewhere and mm -hmm. have a car and yeah. have some kind of a life. Mm -hmm. And it's such trap yeah. if you're not happy mm -hmm. in that rut. Yeah. And yeah, I just, this is just opened up to me just a couple of years ago that I was also living in that kind of a rut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that kind of fascinates me because a lot of people just go through their lives doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and can you remember? Was it just like a calling just to go and just? Yeah. It must have been hard to see it as that. Well, it it, it kind of was crystal clear. Okay. I was just gonna make it happen, and and um, and I I called your wife. <laughs> 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 I told her that like I found this. I found my calling. I was going to be a yoga teacher, and I invited her to come with me. And I was just like, oh, it's going to be a sunny beach in Thailand, and it's going to be us, the girls, and it's going to be wonderful. And, and she's, gonna, she's like, oh, yeah, it's great, but am I going to have to do yoga? Yeah, you're going to learn to be a yoga teacher. And she's just like, no, I'm not doing that. Not and I'm like, happen. oh, wow, okay, what a bummer. But yeah, but I went, and I went on my own, and, and that was also an experience. And and um but kind of forced me to like to get to know other people because obviously i was there alone mm -hmm. yeah but yeah uh, it was i was just like sitting in a coffee place and and somebody said like wow you i can i can see um you definitely love yoga why don't mm -hmm. you just become a yoga teacher mm -hmm. and at that instant I, I called my yoga boss now <laughs> and um, and yeah and, and she kind of guided me through and and I don't know three months or something after that I was I was there okay yeah and how has that kind of changed your life wow wow um, when I started doing yoga um i um i was just like kind of at um, emotionally at a rock bottom kind of thing i was newly newly single and and it was like that re relationship was hard and it took a toll on me and and um <clears throat> and um yeah like I started going every day and, and sometimes two times a day and um, at first I did not like what I saw in the mirror but then like because like when you stop focusing on like oh you need to lose weight you need to do this and and when when you set your goal to I want to be a yoga warrior mm -hmm. then everything kind of falls into place you don't want like candy or or shit you just want to nurture your body so you can become the warrior the yoga warrior and so like slowly i started feeling better about myself and then going through this course or this teacher training which was like at many many times i was willing to give up and just go and lay on the beach and and like have a mojito or <laughs> <laughs> whatever like and just enjoy myself but I stuck to it and I was so fucking proud of myself <laughs> and yeah and I, um, I I definitely didn't think I would get it but in the end like I was just ready to teach and 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 she her name is Solveig my yoga <laughs> boss and, and my friend my dear dear friend um, and she gave me a job in her yoga studio and I was the only newly yoga teacher there there were all like it was filled with stars yoga stars and okay. me and so that was always like i i had to live live up to her her expe expectations which were none but <laughs> i created them <laughs> and uh and yeah so it gave me like a boot in the butt and yeah so it, it definitely uh i had to like deal with um like not being socially awkward and, and like because you need to get people to come come again mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah so it, it helped me a lot in that sense and, and it just gave me some sense of 
a major sense of um, self, um, uh, what is it called? Acceptance. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yeah, I was something. Yeah, and just yeah. coming to be kind of yet self acceptance. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I kind of saw the change mm -hmm. in you because we kind of run the same circles, and mm -hmm. you and my wife are friends. And, mm -hmm. and it was a cool thing from the outside, just seeing. And that mm -hmm. sent you in all kinds of paths mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of amazing to see when you kind of just make the leap of faith and follow your dreams mm -hmm. that things kind of just fall into place. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and just trust and hold someone's hand. And, and yeah, it's amazing how beautiful life can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you, when you get out of your head and, and just and be human being, not a human doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's a cool uh, way of saying it, though. Uh, because we, we all get kind of caught in the trap of having nicer things mm -hmm. and a nicer house and mm -hmm. a nicer this and a mm -hmm. nicer that mm -hmm. and kind of leaves us empty. Yeah, yeah. And Because it's just stuff. It's just stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when that's all you have because mm -hmm. you're not pursuing something you want to do mm -hmm. that's kind of all it is yeah 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 and definitely. just finding truth in that is a i think a very important thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you've done all kinds of other stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely you've been trying out all kinds of stuff <laughs> all kinds <laughs> of stuff yeah yeah, I did uh, yoga wise. I did beer yoga and I'm still doing that. And that's like super fun. And it's like, and there's nothing holy about it because yoga is kind of like, it's a, it's a, like, it's often very serious and, okay. and like, um, and yeah, it was, it is great fun. And um, yeah. I, I like it yeah. like I like to like being silly and I don't care if like people laugh at me or like with me just if you're laughing then yeah. that's great <laughs> it's fun with me <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you you also if I'm correct mm -hmm. went to South America yeah Peru Peru mm -hmm. yes that was another like uh, breaking point in my life okay so like it's the best thing I've done, like, ever. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I went there for 10 days. We were staying, like, in the Amazonian forest. Okay. And we were there with a um, um, medicine worker, a shaman. Mm -hmm. And it was a retreat uh, and, like, kind of a journey inwards. And... I found myself and and I know that like I'm manifesting the dream of like living there sometime for a few years okay because the the idea of like having stuff and 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 the possession is just it doesn't interest me anymore it's um, I, I just want to go and live I don't want to be stuck in the in the wheel and and like work my ass off and never see the sun and and just like I I've I've seen it like <laughs> I've seen how people live their lives. See, they're like they're just like chubby people. They don't have anything. They live in houses that we would nah definitely not put your dog in it. Some of them, mm -hmm. but they're just standing there happy and and they share and they have their Sunday barbecue and and like they're so so friendly but they don't have anything but they're just like they're all smiles and yeah it was amazing to see that they're they're poor but they're so happy and um, yeah um, I'm definitely on that journey I um, I did the the medicine the 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 tea ayahuasca it's the called ayahuasca yeah, thing, yeah ayahuasca thing and and it like I had had like it gave me just a whole new perspective on life and of myself and I know my strengths I know I know 
who I am. I, um, I found my singing voice like there and, and I'm like, I was kind of shocked. I was just like, wow, who is, is it me? <laughs> Do I sound like this? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, a. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Okay. It was like, wow, it was worth every penny and I would go back in a heartbeat. Okay. If I could. And how, how, how does this, such a ceremony, how, do, how, how, how does, does it, it go? Well, um, uh, you have an integration with, with someone that is uh, known to the substance and, and they like ask you questions and if you're on, on medication or, or how you are, like, like if you're stable mentally and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and obviously physically too. And, um, and if you have any worries and, and that was really, really a good thing for me then like I had two things that I swear I was never going to tell anyone, but they said that like everything that I was kind of holding back and didn't want to tell anyone, I would have to face it. So I was just like, all right, fuck it. I'll just tell them then it's over with it's done. And of course they didn't care and they didn't mm -hmm. think it was anything like it's just doing the steps like you think you're you think you're you have something so terrible and you don't want to share it with anyone and then when you tell somebody and then they're just like what i've yeah. done the same or something like that and you're it's like my deepest <gasps> shame and you're not <laughs> and I've, been, I've been carrying this for years <laughs> and it was like yeah it was liberating and then then we went there and, and i met this wonderful group of people just mm -hmm. like and I believe that they were just handpicked because the group was absolutely, it, we are still in, in contact and we do stuff together and, and these are just my new extended family. Okay. And, um, and we went together almost all um, uh, to Lima and then to, to Tarapoto where, um, where we were staying. And um, so some some people kind of got weeded out in the process, or how I don't th I, I I don't know because uh, because like uh, this is all uh, conf confidential. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. I'm saying like uh, I don't know anything about no, it. So no. like I don't may maybe maybe, maybe somebody changed their mind. Maybe and somebody. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it was up. Obviously, it, it it can be a scary thing, and mm -hmm. and and you can definitely this is not a party like mm -hmm. this is this is uh, you come there to face yourself like f with uh, any other substances like sugar alcohol weed anything else um, um, you're always running away from yourself mm -hmm. but this is where you face yourself and mm -hmm. you can't go anywhere else yeah, like, I definitely think you have to be in the right space mm -hmm. in life yeah, of to course. be able to do mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. for somebody who is constantly running from themselves and mm -hmm. not facing themselves? Mm -hmm. I think th this would be a terrible yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, of course, uh, some people have bad experiences, which then end up being the best thing for yeah, them. Yeah, positive. Yeah, yeah very yeah. positive. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, uh, I don't think that there is like a it's always something you have to face and always something you need to need to um, address with mm -hmm. yourself and clear it out and um, and it's just yeah it, it's the most beautiful thing mm -hmm. okay so yeah. you so you first do the yoga thing then you get there and yeah. you face that thing yeah. and I remember the other day you went to a seminar where you were making a drum yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. told me about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How, what was that about? Oh, so uh, that was, um, okay, so I was not in a spiritual part, path at that time. Okay. So uh, while I was interested about it, but I didn't really like, I still wanted to be like kind of boozing and and I like my mother just passed away and it was kind of hard time mm -hmm. and um, and I came there and 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 I thought I was just gonna make this drum 
and okay. I wanted to have a drum because Solve has a drum. <laughs> 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 and I needed a drum, <laughs> but I didn't know like what it entailed. I just thought like we were going to go and make this drum and it would be all go nice and cozy and we would sleep there. And, and I didn't really know what the schedule entitled. Okay. Um, so when we come there, then, then it uh, starts with a delay and we were fasting which like I didn't put any like why signs to that, why we were fasting. I just did what, as I was told. And I don't joke about food. <laughs> I, am, <laughs> I, am, I have my schedule. <laughs> and uh, so I, I was hungry when I got there. And, and, and then like everything kept being like postponed and, and, um, and uh, then maybe like this was supposed to start three o'clock and seven o'clock then the the final person and then we did this some sort of integration and then after that it was like a crazy dance party where like people were just going like mad and i i'm i hadn't had anything to eat like the whole day and i was kind of like I was getting flustered and I was unhappy with this and are they just going to starve us to death? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and who, this who was, ho who was hosting this? Oh, so. he's he's uh, he, I, I didn't like him then, but I definitely I see where he's coming from. And 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 he definitely he made a change in me, too. He helped me see the see the goddess within and, and my strength. Uh, his name is Martin. He is, I think, if I'm correct, I think he's from Poland. OK and he is a shaman and he is um, he doesn't work with substances like ayahuasca or or psilocybin or anything like that he is um, it is more like a meditational dance or and and it was really hard and okay. and then i i that night i ended uh, crying in the hang like the clothes hanging part of the, and I was just like don't don't see me I'm not <laughs> here <laughs> I just want to go home <laughs> and uh, but I decided to stay because I really really wanted the drama <laughs> <laughs> and so um, yeah so um, and the next day I, I felt like wow okay I did this M must be easy from now on it wasn't, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but then I was one step closer to the drum. But it ended ended up being a very very powerful weekend. It ended up being like, I every time I felt tired or or my head was telling me I couldn't do this, like I had to do it because somebody was pushing me, and um, yeah, I felt very very strong and, and what were and you doing? Powerful. Were you yeah, it was like ecstatic dance and I have no coordination, so I didn't think that was funny uh, <laughs> or fun. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, then there was meditation. There was there was one thing that, that was like really, really interesting. There was a meditation where you sit in front of, of a person, like closer than we're sitting. Okay. And you stare into their eyes for like, I don't know, it was like two songs or something, probably 15 minutes or something, because these shamanic songs are very, very long. Mm. And as you're looking into the eyes, like something starts to happen. Obviously, eyes get watery, even though you're blinking, but mm -hmm. you can't look away. You just need to look into people's <laughs> soul. And, uh, and it was fucking amazing. That, that sold me because I just, I was sitting beside uh, in front of, of a woman that I really didn't know and I didn't really have any contact with her until then and I could see her face changing into into my sister and not my my uh, my real sister but someone from past life someone um, it was such a strange like I didn't know that person but I knew it in my heart that she was my sister and we both, and she could feel it too, and, and we just both started to laugh and cry, and, and like it was amazing. And I was just like, okay, here, here I am, not taking anything, hardly at, well, I had at something at that point, <laughs> <laughs> but wow, th this was just like, uh, this was a trip. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then there was another one we, uh, we did this thing with as well. And I definitely felt that she was my husband. 
at some point and then she turned into an owl and and yeah it was like it sounds trippy yeah, i know but yeah but yeah. I, I think i know what you're getting yeah, at yeah. because it's there's a human connection mm, thing there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which Definitely. we're kind of deprived of yeah, yeah, yeah on a yeah. today basis in mm -hmm. living in cities yeah. and we have schedules and we yeah. have to go there and do mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. and i kind of find a little part of that doing thing I'm doing now mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. this interview thing because yeah. just sitting with another person mm -hmm. for some time and just mm -hmm. having a conversation mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. something yeah. you don't really give yourself the time to do no it's always small talk yeah yeah you never yeah. go in deep or no. talk about things that matter no, or yeah, yeah. and I can totally see that looking at another person that you don't know very well mm -hmm. really in the eyes mm -hmm. for just some time mm -hmm something happens uh -huh. some like i don't know past life experiences um, i don't know it, it was uh, i don't know the like technical or like the spiritual terms for it but i know yeah. what i felt and and it was really really real and mm -hmm. at that time i was definitely not into all that and and um yeah, if it doesn't have logic, then I'm not into it, mm -hmm. which is definitely not the case now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this changed you in a whole other yeah. way yeah. and opened new doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I think there's a stigma attached mm -hmm. in today's society mm -hmm. about believing such things. Yeah. But I kind of feel that if you feel something, mm -hmm. you just feel it and mm -hmm. you let yourself feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't hinder yourself by logic of mm -hmm. not feeling things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think we do a lot of that. Yeah. And who the fuck cares about what other people think of you well, in these I ways? Don't. Mm. Because I can totally see the place for logic. Mm -hmm. We need that in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But not in that level that inhibits you on feeling stuff. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you know where I'm go yeah. getting with that. And my my um, my goal has been for since I started this just to kind of to be the kid, kind of like to have the heart of a child, mm -hmm. but with the wisdom of the elders. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I I I just want to have fun, like yeah. always. I I I like, yeah. Why why be d depressed and because like obviously life happens and you can't control some of the things but you can always r you can control your your um, your emotions and and your um, uh, how you deal with stuff that happens yeah, yeah. and sometimes obviously like it gets the best of you but then it's just getting back on track and and because you have felt like well I have felt through this process that how I want to be, how I want to feel. I want to have my heart open. I want to be approachable. I want to be, I hope I, I can uh, inspire, inspire people mm -hmm. to, to look for themselves and, and, and to, um, to find happiness and, and joy in life and, because it is beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. And I definitely think it's also an individual thing. Yeah, yeah. This was your path. Mm -hmm. This was something you wanted mm -hmm. to do and loved mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. And I think not the same applies to everyone. Of course not. But yeah. following your heart yeah. definitely is always mm -hmm. the key, what, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. to take the leap and just do it, mm -hmm. despite what other people might mm -hmm. say or think mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop living in fear. Yeah, like people have told me that like uh, do not agree with my path. Um, mm -hmm. That like when I'm telling them like um, I was a kid. When I'm telling them um, um, what I've been doing and 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 uh, and and then they're just like oh yeah mm -hmm. and one of those mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. but then they're just like but you're so changed mm -hmm, yeah. yep definitely mm -hmm. <laughs> I am and, and it is like it has a lot like I've done the work but like I've had I have have had great teachers mm -hmm. both plants and and people and people that I'm lucky to call my friends and yeah everyone's a teacher everything is a teacher mm -hmm. yeah. if you're open yeah, to it yeah. if you're not locked in mm -hmm. and but yeah back to the drum thing yeah you've done the done the staring staring meditation thing yeah and 
And what, what came next? Um, then we built the drum, which was fun. It was like an arts and crafts class, and okay. we were like decorating it, and and um, I should have brought it. And it was amazing. Like, and this will sound weird as well, but when I woke up um, the following day after my meltdown uh, in the hanging, hanging <laughs> <laughs> in the hangers, in the coat hanging, in the area. Coat hanging area, <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, uh, before, like when I was almost waking up, or that's how I felt. Then um, there was this ego with me, and it I, I could just see it. It was always there, and I could feel it. Like it was just sitting where my pillow was. I, I could feel it. I could feel its presence. I could feel the flap of its wings, and I could see it like mm -hmm. flying. And uh, and then I make my drum, and I just pick pick a um, a skin that like they kind of all look the same and and I just picked one and then we, we were making our drums and and then I look at my drum and it has the shape of an ego and I'm like can this weekend get any more <laughs> magical it's <laughs> ridiculous what is going on here like I'm I'm uh, Sandra who was uh, who was uh, prone to logic and and like yeah was kind of just like okay there is something more there is uh, i can't deny it it's like uh, yeah and, and it definitely suits me to think that way mm -hmm. like it's so much more fun it's so much more playful it is yeah i i totally agree yeah and 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 this just comes again to to be free from yourself mm -hmm. to be yeah. free from the opinions of others mm -hmm. and do what you want to do in yeah. your heart, whatever yeah. the fuck that yeah. is. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's something, I, th I believe we're always learning something in life. Mm -hmm. It's our kind of thing. We're yeah. here just to learn yeah, about yeah. ourselves. Yeah, definitely. And I think the more you come in terms in what you've done uh -huh. and what your path has been, uh -huh. the more free you are going forward. Yeah, to. yeah. Of course. If you deal, if you dealt with your yeah. past, then mm -hmm. you're kind of free to make your own future, yeah. mm -hmm. kind of way. Mm -hmm. and Definitely, and then just uh, and just yeah. N for me, enjoy every day, and and what comes tomorrow comes tomorrow, and and uh, yeah, because if I'm always making plans, I have dreams, obviously, and and like I'm. I'm going to live in the Amazonian forest for a okay. few years. Um, I haven't told my kid that, and she's probably not going to be happy with it. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll tell her we're going for a year. <laughs> and um, um, yeah, it's it's healthy to have dreams, and and but like you can't get too like caught up in it that that like that you don't enjoy what's around you now. Yeah, at the like, moment. Yeah, at the moment. And just like, um, like, um, just outside, like the snow, the weather has been like kind of shit, but it hasn't bothered me. It's it's kind of beautiful, and you can feel the energy outside, and and like even like I, like just looking at the snow, and and it's kind of sparkly, and and it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, just being inside of a warm house, yeah, it's looking it's and hearing the storm cozy. and the power of nature, yeah. it's, 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 it's a yeah. cool thing. Yeah, and that's but definitely something that not everybody has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you made the drum thing. Yeah. And I remember you came to visit just the day after you, could, you came home yeah. with your drum, super yeah. proud. Yeah, and I'm a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And it, I, I, I'm telling you, it inspired me also yeah. because I kind of just this, have this new found pleasure of seeing other people go and do what they love and yeah. what they want to do. Yeah, and, and it's, it's beautiful, and that's such a such a great quality to enjoy when other people are doing well. Uh -huh. yeah. Because it it gives you something. Yeah, and Special, definitely. And just to hear another point of view, mm -hmm. though you're. Maybe not the path you want to no. go, but yeah. that doesn't matter. It's just no. about yeah. and what's happening and how you've changed and how you like 
cope with life and and for me it's all about enjoyment mm -hmm. it's all about the sweet things it's um yeah i um I, it's beautiful and see people grow and uh, yeah i think it's uh, and when you're at that part in your life then then the universe is definitely working with you mm -hmm. yeah definitely yeah and what's your you you say you want to live in the Amazon. That's mm -hmm. a dream you're gonna mm -hmm. manifest yeah, someday. Yeah, it's happening. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. that, 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 I, I totally agree. Hear me that. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I so am in line with that because yeah. right now I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm determined to manifest. Yeah. I want to make a change. I want to mm -hmm. do this thing. I want to do my music thing, yeah. and and it's all about. Not just wanting, mm -hmm. but doing and meaning it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you don't have a course, you're not going anywhere. No, of course. Yeah. And so what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's I your feel next it. step? <laughs> My next step. Wow. Like there are interesting things like that are happening and especially in the work life and in the flower shop and i can't tell too much about that okay but yeah i'm, I'm excited for that and um, it's a collaboration and and i think it's going to be something magical okay uh, and i feel it in my heart that this is the next step and then i'm just gonna like yeah do whatever i can to get to peru as soon as i can and and um and just be mm -hmm. yeah i'm kind of at the stage now that like everything is kind of a bliss i don't need anything i don't really like want anything except for the peru thing <laughs> and money like ab abundant of money so i can do all these things <laughs> <laughs> or go to peru and, and like just live there and, and not be kind of like dumpster diving or something mm -hmm. um yeah, and I've got like upcoming ceremonies, and I've got like, a, and I'm in such a good like group of people that um, that um, we're always doing something fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a cool thing. That's but yeah, yeah, I think we're both kind of tired. Mm -hmm. It's late. <laughs> yeah. And you've been working all day. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so have I. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe. We should just call it a day. Thank yeah. you so much for oh, coming. Oh, wow. Thank you. For taking the time. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. Definitely. Definitely. Talk really.